All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open up this Costco box that I got. It's a two-pack, so let's go ahead and open it up, see if we get any hits from it. This uh, pencil holder comes with two packs, and I want to say this comes with five packs, which is pretty awesome. Let's see what we get. They are packaged very nicely which is pretty good that way this tin is going to be in amazing condition so that is pretty awesome let me go ahead and uh cut this open all right here we go let's go ahead and open up the pencil box first and in the pencil box we have a silver tempest and a lost origin i will say the lost origin pack the picture of it kind of looks a little fuzzy. But other than that, two amazing packs from the Sword and Shield era. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what kind of hits we get on this. We're going to go ahead and open up the Lost Origin pack first. There you guys go. And we'll do the card trick. All right, let's see if we get any hits. Let's go. You guys have any Costco's nearby? Let me know if you guys ordered any of these, if you guys opened any of them up. Did you guys end up getting any hits on this? And if you did, when did you get the hits? Did you get it from the pencil or from the lunch box? All right. Let's move on to the next one. Silver Tempest, which is an amazing pack. Definitely up there. Definitely love the sword and sheer. She definitely like the sword and sheared era. Scarlet Violet is pretty good too. The sword and shield. It's pretty much when I got back into Pokemons again and opened up TCG packs since I was little, which I'm, I wish I would have got into it a little bit before then, but it's all right. Will we get anything? And let's see. And we do. Beautiful looking V card. Not the best hit out of the whole series i mean it's not a top 10 but i'll take it beautiful looking artwork let's move on to the 10. here's the 10. it brings the foil cards right there and brings five packs and some other stuff like the rest of them do Go ahead and open it up and this one looks like it was placed upside down those promo cards look awesome as well go ahead and take them out we'll put those there well this one that one was a struggle and a beautiful looking coin awesome looking coin and here are the packs As well, you have the stickers. Got a lot of stickers, actually. Stickers, more stickers, and even more, as well as a nice little notebook. And a binder for your cards. Very awesome. All right. Let's move on and start opening these packs up. Here's the code card for you guys. Uh, I want to say we'll do, we'll keep Fusion Strike since there's only one of them for last. And without further ado, let's get to it. Astral Radiant. Here you guys go for that one. Let's get to it. 
that artwork on that gold duck looks amazing as always Pokemon I, I really don't think they disappoint when it comes to the artwork I think their artworks are always amazing and we have the same one as the promo very awesome and we got a leaf yawn very awesome looking leaf yawn we'll put him there and next pack let's go ahead and open up the second set of astral radiant all right there's a code card for that one for the front yeah, let's go I don't know if I see. Look like there might be something back there. I don't know. Ashwat looking awesome. Scyther looking cool as always. And we do got a hit. Look at that beauty. I don't know. This might have a double hit. That's a nice looking card. Do not have that one yet. And we got a Beedrill V. Which is very awesome. So we got a double hit out of that pack. Which is very awesome. Let's go ahead and sleeve those up. At the end of this video. Let me know which one was your favorite pull of the day. Let's move on to Silver Tempest. There's the code card for you guys. Let me know which one was your favorite pack from the Sword and Shield era. Mine is, I want to say, hate to be like a lot of people. I do like Evolving Skies. I haven't pulled out any of the top cards for that set, but still a beautiful looking set. I love the artwork of the packs. And we got another hit. We got a beautiful looking V-Star. That looks awesome. Another one that I don't have a hit. Uh, another one that I have not pulled, I should say, which is very good. Love getting cards that I haven't pulled before. That way I don't have doubles or triples, which is always a good thing. love the fact that i'm opening up sword and shield era definitely a breath away from the new generation paradox riff 151 it's nice to go back and open up older packs not the oldest packs in the world but from the last era nice little change of pace hope you guys are enjoying this video I greatly appreciate you guys taking your time out and joining us. And we got another one. I, we pulled the same card twice in the same box set, which is pretty awesome. I was just talking about not even a couple seconds ago about doubling up on hits. And we just did it in the same video, which is pretty awesome. There you go. Join your little butt. All right, then let's move on to the last pack of this video. Fusion Strike, which is definitely one of my top fives. Let's see if we can pull something in this pack. There you guys go. Now I'll be getting a lot of hits in this one. I mean, it ain't even the God Pack cases or tens, I should say. And we're definitely getting hits out of this one. I don't know if they were sleeping on these or not. Metapod, beautiful looking Mankey, Krogonk, will we have another hit to finish this video off? Let's get to it. And we do, we got a beautiful looking Lucario V. That looks awesome. It does have some whitening on the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but other than that, this car looks amazing. And I'm definitely glad I pulled it. 
a lot of people in the house are Lucario fans. He is definitely awesome. Love the episode when him and Greninja had a little training together. Definitely check out that video. And as always, consider subscribing, give thumbs up, and let's customize the world. Until the next video, go out to do your local Costco's and definitely pick these up. All right, later.